So let's carry out box counting for another line, this time a line of length 2, and this was the uh, shape that was in the last quiz. So, as before, we want to know how many boxes does it take to cover it for a given box with side S. So here, these are my boxes with size quarter, side a quarter, excuse me, and the length of the line now is 2, so let's see what we get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it takes 8 boxes if the side is a quarter. What if the side is an eighth? Let's see. So that's a box that's half the side of this. That is not this one, this one. Is that right? Yep, okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's sixteen. And then let's do one more. What if the box size is a sixteenth? That's this. So what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. get 32 boxes if the side is 1 16th. So as before, we want to write down a relationship between the numbers here and the numbers here. How does n of s depend on n? So let's see, 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and so that suggests to me that we're going to have the following relationship, that n of s is 2 times 1 over s. So let's check, to sort of verify this, let's try this pair. So 16, is that equal to 2 times 1 over an eighth? Well, that's 2 times 8, which is indeed 16. So this 2 reflects the fact that the line is uh, has a length of 2, but the exponent here, remember 1 over s is the same as 1 over s to the 1, reflects the fact that this is still one-dimensional. So this is for a line of uh, length 1. It's 1 times 1 over s to the 1. Line of length 2 is 2 times 1 over s to the 1. And for the square, which was two-dimensional, then we have 1 over s raised to the second power. So the dimension, as before, is up here in the exponent. So what these three examples suggest is the following. That n of s, the number of boxes needed to cover an object, is going to be described by this formula. So c is some constant. In the example we just did, the line of length 2, it was a 2. We've got 1 over s, then raised to the d power. Right? If it's one-dimensional, we needed to raise it to the first power. And if it was two-dimensional, like the square, we needed to raise it to the second power. So um, this is moving us towards the definition for the box counting dimension. And what I want to do next is calculate uh, this dimension d, not for a line or a square, but for the Sierpinski triangle. So that's what we'll do in the next video.